Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is your first time. You are welcome to the Happy Family. If you have been watching but you are still contemplating whether you should subscribe or not, what are you waiting for? Please click the subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever i upload a video to all my subscribers all over the world salute you guys are amazing hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend i know this story has been going on since during the week i've been really busy but i have something to say you know i've heard from this one from that one and i noticed that bianca ojuku was able to gather a lot of support even from the community you know the husband is a uh, warlord. That's what I'm going to call him. Anyway, you guys, to all my non-Nigerian subscribers, as I used to do on this channel, I like to give you a background story into this. I don't know much about this uh, Anambra ex-governor's wife, Obiano, but when I started seeing her pictures and stuff, I realized that, oh, yeah, I think I know this woman. She's the one that always brag about whatever she's wearing. You know, she's a governor's wife, and one time she was wearing one designer that cost a lot of money, but the thing looks like fake on her. Anyway, not that I'm beefing out or anything, because to be honest, I think I have a different opinion entirely to what I've seen so far with everyone because a lot of people were supporting these ojuku bianca ojuku uh the separatist uh ojuku odumegu's wife a lot of people were giving her support i think it's because of the respect for the husband and all of that and even to the extent that some people were gathering together saying that the ex-governor's wife needs to apologize to the community to do appeasement and some blah 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 like that anyway you guys before i keep going on what had happened is that the governor they are you know they are doing inauguration for the new governor and the incumbent governor's wife obiano you just see her walking towards the woman and before you know it casaladon bust everywhere let me play the video for you guys then i'll come back with some more wait i'm coming <laughs> That is Ojuku's wife, someone is hugging there. And that's the ex of her wife at the lake. Her head girl is gone. I think that was. Did you see how many people are begging her? And that's the husband. That's her husband. The volume, uh, so that I can we can hear each other. So what had happened is that that was after Ojuku's wife, the one with the egg gear still on her head. That was after she had slapped the woman because everybody was saying that they couldn't see the clear picture. Even the news that first came out is that the one that was walking away, which is the uh, governor that is going out, the ex-governor's wife, that was her walking away with the blonde hair, that she was the one that slapped Odumegu's wife. But eventually it came out that it was Bianca Ojuku that actually slapped her. And I'm going to read the story that bianca put out that's what she called a story uh a lot of people has been saying so many different stuff about this but however i want to share a story what she said had happened in that situation so i want to share the story to you guys this is what the woman said she said my story 
as the inaugural ceremonies for Professor Charles Soludo and his deputy began, and all guests were seated. All guests were seated. The former first lady of Anambra State, Mrs. Ebele Obiano, was noticeably absent. Then she then arrived some one and a half hours later while the ceremony was on. I didn't pay any particular attention to her arrival. Surprisingly, she then walked towards me and I thought she was coming to greet me, which I saw a video that depicts what she said here. You can see the former first lady walking towards her where she was sitting. Instead, when she got to where I was seated, she verbally attacked me with her voice raised taunting me and asking me what I was there to do and using unprintable vile language. She asked if I have come to celebrate their last day in office, but I ignored her completely. Then she kept aggressively putting her hands on my shoulders and shouting why I ignored her verbal onslaught as advised by those sitting around me. I requested twice that she refrain from touching me with her hand. She proceeded to do so yet again and went further to grab at my egg tie which she attempted unsuccessfully to remove. Hmm, Akika. This very act is considered a sacrilege to a titled matriarch, such as myself in Igbo culture. It was at this point that I stood up to defend myself and gave her a dirty slap to stop her from attacking me. As she made towards me, I then pulled away her wig. She held onto her wig with her two hands and tried to take the wig away from me. The former APGA chairman, Ume, told her to leave me and told engaged APGA member that I'd gather at the spot to lead her away, which they did and took her to the seat next to her husband, Chief Willie Obiano, who sat through the entire episode completely speechless. What struck me through the whole episode was the fact that she was clearly intoxicated. I was stunned by the stench of whiskey in her breath at such an early hour of the day. How could a first lady be so drunk and proceeded to turn up in that state at an inauguration ceremony that began at 9 a.m.? It is unfortunate that she threw all caution to the wind and imported this kind of melodrama to a state ceremony. This was highly embarrassing to the governor who left the venue almost immediately, taking her along with him. <laughs> Luckily, this did not disrupt the proceedings and I stayed back to witness the ceremony to the end, after which we were treated to a sumptuous reception at the government house. So, Ambassador Bianca Odumegu Ojuku, former Nigerian ambassador to Spain and APGA board member. So, anyway, this is the story that this woman is, you know, telling literally saying that it was this uh obiano's wife that is the aggressor in this situation it looks like it in the sense that she was the one that walked up to this woman really she was the one that walked up to her whether she wants to greet her or she's there to you know cause drama she walked up to her and at the end of the day she got what she deserved but to be honest uh a lot of people were giving this uh Ojuku's wife, a lot of, you know, kudos for doing that. Even when Linda Ikeji wrote the write up, the story she told, Linda Ikeji literally said that, uh, I don't know whether it was the woman that said it, that uh, how could the first lady be so drunk? I stayed back to watch the ceremony till the end and left with my dignity intact, which was not in, uh, in what I read to you guys. But with what I've gathered so far before I made this video, with what I've gathered, it is said that this Bianca Ojuku said she's no more interested in the party. It's a political party, AGPA or whatever she's calling it, that she is no more interested in the party. However, the ex-governor's wife went to meet her and asked why that was the story of the obiano's wife but nobody is interested in her story they are all just interested in this ojuku's wife and like you said like a matriarch herself you know the way she put it like she's a matriarch and is uh is sacrilege for someone to to taunt her or whatever use abusive words towards her with this write-up, I can tell that there is, you know, there is K leg in a lot of it. If this woman wants to take off her head tie, the Obiano's wife would have taken it off because she was sitting while that one is standing. It's very easy for someone sitting to, you know, pick your gele or whatever. So with what I see, these women are grown women. And people saying that Obiano's wife is only the, yeah, she is the aggressor. 
I get it. But people need to keep their hand to themselves. But I don't care whatever the mouth, the way she mouthed off to Ojuku's wife. I don't care whatever she said to her. This woman doesn't have the right to raise her hand to slap her. She doesn't have that right. If he's in this country, Western world, she will, she will, she will be charged. She will be charged for assault because it doesn't matter. You can't charge someone from mounting off towards you for calling you all sort of names. They will tell you you have your mouth. You can call the person all sort of names as well. But for you to now raise your hand and slap the person, oh my beg, you go sleep police station. We go fight them because she can sue. She can sue her even Western world. But obviously with Nigeria, they always follow position, power, money, and everything to judge. So I don't get it. For me, this is what I see. It shows that. This ex-governor's wife is the aggressor, but it shows that this woman say, I walk away with my dignity. What dignity? Because your girl did not fall up. You don't have to slap anybody. You can also use your mouth or call security to get out of your presence rather than standing up and you give her a dirty slap. And you are even saying it. It doesn't make any sense to me. Ah, uh -uh, you are so violent, ma. Madam, you are violent. You can just you can just raise your hand and stop somebody. Come to UK and try that rubbish. Police station, you will be sued. So that's what I just see in all of this thing. A lot of people were giving us support, saying that oh she's this, she's that, she's, uh, the the woman deserve it. I don't know what this woman has done to a lot of them, but what I know is that nobody deserves to be slapped, even if your mouth is so sharp. Sometimes you know you look at people. That is what they call decorum. It's not calling yourself you have a decorum by moving, going away with your dignity by slapping someone. No, keep your hand to yourself. Nobody needs to use their hand. If somebody is mouthing off to you, mouth off to them as well. You have mouth. That's why God gave both of you mouth. Rather than just slapping someone and thinking that you walk away with decorum, you have dignity, you have... I beg, that's not what they call dignity. You need to know what real dignity is. The what dignity is, you know, show your kids that you don't just slap people just because they say something you don't like to you. You can't just slap them. All you have to do is walk away, you know, ignore her, no matter how terrible she's behaving, because you can see she's an aggressor. And with what she said, she said that she's she's like the stench coming out from her is like she's drunk. You don't even know what she's going through. She might be going through something. Maybe she's sad that they are leaving the office. Maybe she's sad because now we realize that the EFCC has already arrested the husband. So maybe she knew something is going on in, that, in her home that she know it could come back and backfire to them whenever they leave office. Anyway, you guys, that's what I have to say. Uh, people were saying that, oh, because he's, you can't see anything against Bianca. No. That's not a, a good role model. You cannot just slap people like that. Even if they mouth off, you have mouth as well. That is why God gave you mouth. That's me what I think. I want to hear your opinion in the comment section below. Let's continue the discussion in the comment section. And on your way, I'll don't forget, give this video a thumbs up, share if you like it. If you haven't, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Uh, anyway, you guys, please, if you have anything to share with me, my Instagram account, um, I always display it on my video. So if you have anything to share with me, you can follow me on my Instagram. It's the same name on Instagram, on Twitter, on Snapchat, everywhere I'm Debbie Fash Style. And I will see you in the next one. Subscribe and get that gist with the one and only Debbie Fash Style. Yeah, yeah.